Moldova, a country centered in northeastern Europe. Known for its wine cellars, its main capital, Chisinau, but also its high density of stray animals. The stray animal situation in Moldova has been a persistent issue for many years. With an increasing number of stray dogs and a substantial number of overcrowded shelters, the country seems to have lost hope. That is why a team of veterinary specialists from Four Paws teamed up with local partner Dr. Vet. Together, they will be focusing on the CNVR program, which stands for Catch, Neuter, Vaccinate and Return. Their goal is to sterilize and, if needed, medically treat as many dogs as possible in the greater area of Chisinau, and therefore to bring back a sparkle of hope. The team arrives at the Dr. Vet Moldova Clinic, located in the greater area of Chisinau. As the shelters here are full, some of the treated dogs that are unfit to be released back into the streets must stay in the clinic. They wait to be adopted into loving forever homes. I warmly welcome you in Moldova, where Popos is partnering with Dr. Vet Clinic. It's a local veterinary organization, a veterinary clinic, and we conduct the stray animal care project. We catch stray animals, or we work together with local and volunteers, activists who help us in finding the animals. They give us addresses. They also sometimes help us with catching the animals because they feed or take care of them. And then we bring them to the clinic where our team, together with the local partners, uh, sterilize uh, the animals, castrate them, vaccinate against rabies. All the animals receive ear tags in their ears and then after some time they are released to the place where they live. Доктор Вет – это не коммерческая организация, это начиналось у нас все две семьи, теперь у нас три семьи. Три семьи – это три, все-таки, это друзья, которые единомышленники, решили открыть что-то, чтобы помогать бездомным животным. У нас очень много животных, помимо того, что мы занимаемся стерилизацией, очень много животных бездомных, которым нужна помощь. Кого-то сбила машина, кто-то есть с грыжей, и есть, кого сбивает машина, надо делать операцию, но это дорогостоящая операция, люди не могут платить. Вот есть на примере есть девочка Софи, которую привезли вчера, нашли на трассе. Ее сбила машина, женщина позвонила, попросила привезти, но она не может оплатить. И мы попросили ваш фонд «Четыре лапы», которые согласились оплатить ее реабилитацию. И надеюсь, потом найдем ей дом. This is the x-ray of Софи from yesterday. And it's broken legs, uh, right leg, it's here broken and left leg also it's here. We need to make two operations with a special metal here and here and after that uh, sterilization and it will be okay. Dr. Vet starts with the feeding of the strays that are wandering around the clinic in search of water and food. They are at risk of starvation and other health problems if they don't have access to regular meals. From uh, waste disposal from Chisinau, it is now closed, so it did not accept any more waste here, but it's home for more than 20 dogs. The next day, the Four Paws and Dr. Vet Moldova team gets ready to focus on the first step of the CNVR program, catching. The dog catchers spot a group of stray dogs in front of a big junkyard. The team approaches carefully to dart one of the dogs. While the team searches for the dog, a second one has been caught as well.
with one empty cage left in the van, there is still room for one last patient. clinic, the Four Paws team is working hard to nurture and vaccinate as many dogs as they can. The benefits of nurturing are numerous. Other than being spared the stress of pregnancy and having to look after their young, sterilization can control the dog population and it can reduce the suffering of stray dogs. The dogs also receive a unique form of identification with an ear tag, indicating they have been neutered. Lastly, the dogs get vaccinated against rabies, a deadly but 100% preventable viral disease. So, today at lunchtime, uh, Dr. Red get a call from a woman about the dog that is hiding and that hasn't eaten for days because this woman takes care, she feeds this animal, this dog and she got very worried that the dog does not uh, eat and does not behave in the natural and usual way so she called and asked for Dr. Vet to come and to get the dog and then check it in the veterinary clinic and uh, that's what we did now After a medical check and a round of feeding, the team discovers that the dog is malnourished and has ticks. After the dog receives the treatment, it gets released back to where it has been found. That same day, the dog caught for sterilization also gets released back to its own environment. This is the final step of the CNVR method, the return. The return step of the CNVR method is an essential part of managing stray animal populations since it helps maintain the social structure and reduces risk of conflict and aggression. Since local adoptions are rather rare in Moldova, many dogs are being returned to the streets. However, Tony is one of the lucky ones that has found his loving forever home. We took Tony uh, one year ago from shelter uh, from shoulder from uh, city um, Kaushani, but I uh, see Tony on uh, Facebook uh, one moment. I don't know what it was, but I uh, make a decision that I need to took this dog on my family. It was a, a homeless uh, child, but volunteers uh, took him in uh, shelter and we live with Tony, one year, and I try to help Vlad and Tanya. Only uh, they uh, help uh, uh, homeless animals on 100%. Unfortunately, many dogs in the shelter have not been so lucky. little example of Serge. He was found 30 kilometers away from Kishinau and he was crawling on uh, his back legs were not uh, uh, functioning. He had a spine injury and they took him here. Now he walks. After some time he started walking. The only thing they cannot release him back because if the, he actively plays with other dogs or needs to run then the spine uh, injury can you know uh, come back. St. Bernard, a beloved dog of a Ukrainian family, had to leave the country due to the war that happened in the country in 2022. Unfortunately, the owners were not able to take the dog with them. They are now uh, staying in Poland and the dog lives in the shelter for the whole year, waiting impatiently for his owners to take him back.
with so many dogs struggling to survive on the streets of Moldova, an urgent change must take place. With your help, we can reduce the number of dogs born on the streets, and so turn what was once a mere sparkle of hope into radiant actuality. <laughs>